my thoughts now on the tournament, which we'll talk about in a second, is that um, you know him and Andrade probably should have reversed positions in the sense that Garcia should have been the one there at the end and not Andrade because Garcia is the one that they're trying to push now after going one and four, and Andrade is gone after being you know you know beating some key people including Brian Danielson, which served. It's like I'm not sure exactly why you would have Andrade beat Brian Danielson. I mean, it's just like it kind of. Now, today, boggles my mind that it happened. I mean, you know, if Andrade was still there, it's a completely different story. But um, anyway, that's that's booking for you. Well, speaking of old Andrade, we had Andrade versus Miro. And CJ was, in fact, there. And she had a big thing on her finger. And, in fact, you know, during the match, she was, she was screaming at Miro, is this what you wanted, an infected finger? And she's screaming at her husband throughout the match. And uh, the fans were very much behind Miro, even though Andrade, I think, was supposed to be the baby face. But there were let's go Miro chance. You sold out chance. We got it, Andrade. Yeah, and well, I, mean, I, I thought. Think people, I, think people, I think people knew that, that Andrade was leaving, going to, going to WWE. And so, you know, when, when the fans know that, you know, I mean, it was, you know, it's not, it wasn't like the, the um, you know, when, when, you know, obviously when Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar had that famous WrestleMania match where they were both leaving and the fans just like shit on both of them. I mean, this was like they shit on the one guy because they know he was leaving. So Andrade is probably, I mean, almost surely going to be on Raw on Monday. So, um, you know, as far as like the, the secret guy, the Triple H has been teasing. Um, Tony Khan did confirm that Andrade's contract ended on, uh, it ends tomorrow night at midnight, as, as many contracts do. And um, that, uh, you know, he, he said we would love to have him. He was very praiseworthy towards him. He's always welcome back. Um, but kind of conceded that he was gone and, um, you know, it makes sense of everything. He, he, he got that CMLL run in. Cause I remember when he was ex- telling people about the CMLL thing and it's kind of like, why, why are you going there? It's like, he is a guy who demanded a lot of money for his independent appearances and CMLL doesn't pay like that. And it was kind of like, you know, what are you doing? This I think that there was the idea of like, I have a short window to get in. Tony says he helped him get in. Also, but he's got a short window. I think he wanted to go to Reno, Mexico. He had a sellout last night at Reno, Mexico with Volador Jr. So he got to have, you know, his fun. And obviously, starting on Monday, he's going to be with uh, WWE. And um, then, you know, he couldn't go to Reno, Mexico. Well, I will say for a guy in his last match with the company, he worked very hard here. And him and Miro had a... Actually, I thought it was a hell of a match. I thought this was a very, very good match. And 